Hi there, I'm Harry and I want to talk about Sable for just a little bit. I've not finished it yet, but I still think the game is special. Sable is about finding out who you are. You are Sable, a tribal girl who has come of age to undertake the gliding, a pilgrimage of sorts, but you're not really travelling anywhere in particular. Before leaving, Sable knew only of her tribe, of her village, and yet from the morning the game starts on to the afternoon the game starts on, she will have left all of it behind, leaving only one question. Who do you want to be? The society in the world of Sable is one of many masks. Masks are important to the people of Sable. It's not just a mask, it's who they are, their very being. So I guess the gliding is about deciding which mask you want to wear. Right now I'm wearing the cartographer's mask. Look at that little spinny thing on it. This is the only mask that I actually have outside of my tribal one, and that makes a lot of sense, because so far I've just been roaming around, climbing to the top of things and admiring the view. But is this who I really want to be? I'm not sure, I might change my mind. I've had a lot of fun helping people, which gets me closer to the entertainer's mask. I've also been known to accept challenges from climbers to reach dizzying heights. Maybe at the end, I'll don the climber's mask. Who knows? But look, this all sounds very pleasant, but what about the game? What do you actually do in Sable? Well, that's the thing, there is a game here, and it's a really good game because it throws so much out the window. Yes, it's an open world game where you go from point to point, climbing up things, gliding through the air, collecting not Korok seeds, but it's a comfortable open world game. There's no stats, there's no health, and most importantly, there's no combat. Let that rest for a second and maybe think about the implications. There's no combat at all from what I can tell. What would an open world game without combat look like? Well, this might sound like a stupid answer, but it would look like an open world game without combat. There is no secret ingredient. It's you. Instead of collecting gear to fight monsters, you collect gear because it looks cool. Instead of customising your little bike thing to go faster, you customise it because, well, it's red. Look at it. Doesn't it look amazing? There's nothing stopping you from doing this in Breath of the Wild, of course, but why would you? I'm a cis white male, of course I'm going to go with the gear with the most optimal stats. Sable is the opposite of that. Instead of running alongside a progression system, incrementally getting stronger and stronger in order to fight the big bad, for once my purpose is doing things because it's what I want. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Who do I want to be? Sable doesn't have a traditional video gamey reward waiting at the end, because it's about you. Sable is the journey. Where do I go next? Hello, thank you for watching. If you want more, you can go to videogamesbad.co.uk uh, where you can see the rest of my videos and also words um, that I write. Anyway, uh, I hope you're doing well. See you later.